Okay, simple procedures on how to install um, Linux on your system. If you have MacBook, you don't need to install it just for Windows only. So what you do, you come here, you see the first one is overview, it tells you what you need. You need at least minimum of 250 gig hard drive, but this one is say 25 gig, yeah, it's still okay, but use 250 gig because by the time you keep working, keep putting some files inside, it's going to be screaming for space. So the first thing you, you have 250 gig hard drive, minimum of six gig gram, but they are saying eight gig gram here. Yeah. If you say have eight gig gram, it's okay. If you have six gig gram, it's okay. But if you have four gig gram, it's going to be slow. So get minimum of six gig gram. Your system, that's your physical system. You have a webcam and that for that thing. The what you do, the first thing you do, you come to this site and you download. You see this one is showing Ubuntu 20, 20, 2110. Right, you come here. This is another version of Ubuntu. This is another version. This is you can either use one of those version, but don't use minimal, don't use anything below this. Because in the production environment, 16.04 is no longer being used. I've been deprecated. Don't worry about the word deprecated. I'm going to explain to you later the meaning of the word deprecated. But um, you get a system of tune. Let me use the word obsolete, it's no longer being supported. So use 20 or for minimum or 21.10 version. Just like you, you have Windows 10, Windows 8. That's why you have this. Linux is a free distribution, meaning it's open source, it's free. Ubuntu is free, you don't pay for it. You don't get license. Just the way you, when you get to the Windows, you have to buy license. This one, you don't get license, it's free. So you come here, you download. By the time you download it, either you download this version or you download this version. The next thing you do, you come to this stage three. You see this application here. This is an application. Just like some of us are familiar with Nero, just an application that allows you to burn into a hard drive, into a flash drive as an ISO file. So like an image file, like an operating system. So you come here, you see this Belena Escher. Huh? You click. Click this banana Asia. You can see this version, my own system. By the time I clicked it, it automatically uh, can give me this version. My own, I'm using MacBook right now. So when you, you click this download Asia, it will download the application in your in your own Windows operating system. Since your own is Windows, it's going to give you Windows version. So when you finish downloading, eh? You run it, you run the application. You know, like normally the way you run, the way you run application, and you just double click on that on that application, run it as administration, it will run. By the time you run, it will going to give you this interface. I want to see something like this. So you put your flash drive, new flash drive, new one, put it in your USB port, eh? and click select target. First of all, you click select on boot image, but then you click here, you locate, it's going to be on your download folder. Locate it on your download folder, select it. When you select it, it's going to load like this, on boot 20, 64 bit IS, so it's going to load like this. Then you, from here, it's going to ask you, where do you want to flash it? You select your, your, your flash drive, select it here. Then by the time you select it here, this place is going to show color, something green. You just click flash, you click it. When you click it, what will happen is that this application will help you to, will help you to flash this operating system into your hard flash drive. Then you flash it. When it's done, it tell you complete. We show complete. It will show complete, then you will show complete, then you just remove, you remove your flash drive. Fine, immediately it should, it show complete. You're going to see it's going to tell you that you need to format this flash drive. Don't format it. Keep it. Now, what you do, back up all your files in that your operating system. Back it up. Because why? During the process of installing Ubuntu, sometimes it may corrupt your Windows. Sometimes. Or just back your file up. Then after you backed it up, the next thing you do, you put your flash drive in your laptop. Huh? 
put the flash drive in your laptop, off your system. By the time you off your system, as the system is coming up, press F12. For most times, if you press F12, it will show you where to, where to which file you want to, uh, it will show you how do you want your hard drive to boot. You know, sometimes you are supposed to boot from your hard drive, but this time you boot from your plasma, you just select your USB. You can press F12, some system use F2, some system use F10. So, but uh, just use F12, most commonly used. They do tell you you want to use one-time boot, you just select your flash drive. If you select your flash drive, you press enter, you're going to blimp, 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 blimp. Then you press any key, any key to download, to install Ubuntu. By the time you press any key, you're going to see a something coming up on your screen like this. Try Ubuntu, install Ubuntu. Please use install Ubuntu. If you say try Ubuntu, you're going to load from your flash drive. You're going to be seeing Ubuntu as if it's running. But by the time you remove your flash drive, it will go off. So say install Ubuntu. Then this process, if you tell you the kind of keyboard, just select this keyboard, regular English keyboard. Then these are the process. This is going to happen. When you, when you see this screen, it's two ways you, inst you can install Ubuntu. You can install it in an existing window. It will have that the system will have two windows, two windows, one, two operating system, one Ubuntu, one uh, Windows. In that case, it's just that when you are loading your system, you're going to select either Ubuntu or you select uh, Windows. So that one is there. But sometimes I always recommend, since you have dedicated that system for our training, use that, just tell them you want to do fresh installation, complete installation. You select complete installation, normal from this normal installation. So you tell you the drive, this, this one. So you just say, um, erase this and install Ubuntu. That is the most safest way. By the time you do this, then don't encrypt. It's not compulsory you encrypt. But the reason why some people encrypt is that so that somebody else cannot just come on your behalf and flash your system. You can encrypt it, like just secure it, but it's not compulsory. So when you do that, you choose your location where you are, then you put all your login details. It's, this details is compulsory because anytime you want to run anything, you go to ask you for this password. So any password you are using, always write it or memorize it or use something that you are familiar with. And then your installation is complete. When installation is complete, it's going to load like this. Huh? We tell you to put your password. You just put your password. By the you put your password, you're going to see this environment. You'll be surprised. You'll be, when you see Ubuntu Windows, you look as if you'll be surprised, like, ah, is this the Ubuntu they are talking about? You, you look like a Windows, like normal uh, uh, Microsoft Windows, because it has the graphics like this. You understand? Yeah. So you're going to see it like this. And you are Eureka, you are done. So you can decide to update your flag, your system, because sometimes it's going to prompt you to update. And uh, you are you have installation. So I just explained these processes with you. So for those of you that have not done it, first step, download. Second step, create a bootable drive by downloading this application and running it locally. Third, you flash your hard drive, that flashing. You put the, put the flash drive, your hard drive, your flash drive in your system. You select your bootable drive either by pressing F12. F12 will give you priority. You say, okay, do you want to boot from disk or boot from flash drive? Select flash drive. I want to see a window like this. Then from there, installation is complete. You continue with your installation. Then like that, like that. So that is just it. So please, please, everybody, should do this so that by time, if you can do it tonight, beautiful. If you can do it tomorrow, good. But from next week, we will not. We, we, we may not. We, you may not even enjoy the class from next week. Because tomorrow we are actually starting something, something huge. <laughs> Want to start something huge? Because this is our first lab. It's a simple lab. This was what I was expecting us to do. Some of us have done it. But some of us that have not done it, the way I've explained it, I believe it's very easy. 
right? It's very easy, right? Do you have any question? Do you have any question? Any question? <laughs> 